Welcome back guys, FSR 3.1 has been officially added to Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide. It's the first non-Sony game to support FSR 3.1. I'll be testing the game on my ROG Ally, Z1 Extreme variant. We'll be comparing the performance of FSR 3.1 with LSFG 2.3 and AFMF2 frame generation techniques. FSR 3.1 allows us to use DLSS, XCSS or FSR upscaler in conjunction with FSR frame generation. DLSS upscaler is exclusive to RTX GPUs. ROG Ally comes with Radeon 780M GPU. You can use either FSR or XCSS upscaler. I've already done my testing on Ally. I'll give you a brief summary. With FSR 3.1 upscaler, I observed some texture shimmering. Switching to XCSS upscaler fixed most of the shimmering issues. This game supports XCSS version 1.3. The shimmering issue is very easily noticeable on a bigger display. Personally, I would recommend using XCSS upscaler over FSR upscaler in this game. I encountered a weird bug when using FSR frame generation. If you have lens distortion enabled, frame generation effect won't work properly. You'll see a high FPS count, but the animation will look very choppy. I'll try to highlight this issue in the video. I was able to detect this issue as I had used DLSS enabler and Luke FC's FSR 3 mods in this game in the past. Animation looked very smooth with those mods. I'll try to highlight this issue in the video. We'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game. I don't own the Steam version of it. First, I'll show you the version of XCSS. Just open the Games Install directory. Click on the three dots, Manage. Click on Files, then click on Browse. Game size is around 68 GB. Open Warhammer folder. Open Content folder. Open Binaries folder. Look for libxcss.dll file. Right click Properties. Click on Details. File version 1.3.0.28. Now I'll show you LSFG setting. LSFG is a universal frame generator that works on any GPU. It's a part of a paid application called Lossless Scaling that sells on Steam Store for around 7 US dollars. Won't be using any of Lossless Scaling subscaling algorithms. Version of LSFG 2.3 will be using its X2 frame generation mode. It will try to double the FPS. Performance mode disabled. Clip cursor setting enabled. Sync mode default, max frame latency 1, draw FPS setting enable, capture API TXGI. Settings, start as administrator setting check, hotkey for enabling LSFG, control alt and S, minimize the application. I have installed AMD's latest beta GPU driver, version of Adrenaline 24.20.11.01. These are the games Adrenaline setting, pre-sync enable, pre-sync disable, anti-lag setting enable. My ally is running on BIOS version 441. I have set the UMA buffer size to 5 GB. Using a 25 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 25 watts. 720p resolution, CPU boost disabled. Play. Connected my Gully Kit KK3 Max gamepad to ally via Bluetooth mode. It's a first person shooter in which four players cooperate to defeat periodic waves of AI controlled enemies. Our teammates can be controlled by other AI or other players online. Games Launcher, Settings, 720p Resolution, Display Mode, Borderless, Full Screen, Desync, Off. No option for enabling FSR 3 here. Accept. In Game Settings, Display Mode, Borderless, Full Screen, 720p Resolution, Desync, Off. FSR 3.1 Settings. I have enabled FSR 3.1 Upscaler using its quality preset. First, I'll run the game without frame generation need to restart the game in order to apply the change in frame generation setting retracing off most of the settings are set to medium global illumination set to low bloom on motion blur off skin sub surface scattering disabled as well lens quality it's very important to set this setting to off if you set it to on frame generation effect won't work properly that's it go settings enabled optional restart required we are in here fps is close to 44 i haven't started any match yet okay i'm observing some texture shimmering in the background of these structures see i'll get in close range shimmering effect should stop it's fixed now. FSR upscaler is causing this problem. Texture shimmering is back. I'll just switch to XCSS version 1.3 upscaler. 
with FSR 3.1 upscaler here FPS is close to 42 don't need to restart the game in order to change the upscaler quality back to the game 43 FPS roughly the same performance using FSR 3.1 and XCSS version 1.3 but the texture shimmering issue has been resolved by XCSS so I would recommend using it over FSR 3.1 Gameplay is a bit choppy, we are out of LS VRR range and that is 48 to 120 This particular area is very demanding See Animation is looking a bit choppy, 42 FPS Ok, I'll just enable LSFG here, 39 FPS Press LSFG's hotkey, Ctrl Alt and S. I'll switch to Afterburner Overlay, Disable Adrenaline Overlay, does not work properly with LSFG. Base FPS dropped down to around 35, FPS with frame generation 60 to 70. I can observe the added amount of smoothness, better visibility here. Okay, very aggressive graphical artifacts with LSFG, character's head is flickering. It's due to the base FPS which is on the lower side like 37 to 39 I can observe a strip of garbled textures around the bottom edge very difficult to observe this strip on a small display like the one on ROG Ally a slight increase in latency as well nothing extreme though I'll just switch to AFMF now, disable LSFG first, open the game center and arrange setting, from here enable AFMF2, I have set the search mode to high, this will prevent frame generation from getting disabled during fast visual motion, performance mode set to quality, enable adrenaline overlay, back to the game, FPS with AFMF2 is around 75. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness, but I am also observing some garbled textures around the left and right edges of the display. Right here. I am observing some minor graphical artifacts around the character's head. Smoothing effect of LSFG was <laughs> definitely better than the smoothing effect of AFMF2. but AFMF2's latency is definitely lower than that of LSFG frame generation lag value 17 milliseconds you can definitely use AFMF2 in this game yeah some ghosting around the character model when I move the camera in complete circles now I'll use official FSR 3.1 frame generation disable AFMF2 first Open video settings, enable FSR 3.1 frame generation, enable VSync from adrenaline, restart the game. FPS is within a range of 75 to 80. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness, frame generation is working properly. Can also observe a screen tearing like effect around the left and right edges of the display, not observing any graphical artifacts around the character model's head. See? Smooth experience. FPS mostly stays around 80. It depends on the scene. In this area, there are a lot of non playable characters. No texture shimmering is going on in the background. I'll demonstrate the frame generation bug. Just enable lens distortion from video settings. This setting will be enabled by default. Make sure you disable it if you want to use frame generation properly. Lens quality settings set to on. Now I'll move the camera in complete circles. Observe the animation quality. Yeah, it's looking choppy. FPS is still on the higher side, 84. This does not look like the real 80 FPS. So choppy. And now I'll just disable this lens distortion setting. Lens quality and its settings disabled. Resume the game. I'll move the camera in complete circles. Yeah, 
animation is looking smooth again frame generation is working properly what a weird bug i'll just start a match keep the gameplay short match is about to start other players they are just bots yeah fps is very variable 7285 still the game is running smoothly i'm just waiting for the wave kill them we are on a train i'm using my gun even have a melee weapon entirely up to you how you want to play the game Yeah, it's a smooth experience even during combat. Use my melee weapon. Charge to hurt the enemy. Found a hole. Just need to defuse the bomb. It's a good experience on Rogue Ally. I would recommend using XCSS Upscaler. in conjunction with fsr 3.1 frame generation and make sure the lens settings are disabled from the in game settings otherwise frame generation won't work properly lsfg produce some graphical artifacts around the character model's head minor graphical artifacts are present even when using afmf2 garble textures around the left and right edges of the display some ghosting around the character model That's it for the video guys I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day